first thing I need to do is clean this crap out of here where we can see something. Got a lot of little bits of greasy uh, hay. Here. Now we just need to find it. I found it back there. Now if we'll just cooperate with me. see but there is a place to put some snap ring pliers in here but I don't really have my good pair here so I need I want to need something to pry on that thing with me. I gotta turn this fan on guys. I know it's gonna be a little loud. Feels good. I mean, it is muggy today. Got it started. Let's finish it. Need another little part of the tires. There it goes. Now we're cooking. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought. Be careful not to tear up anything. This whole shaft should come out now with the bearing. Get this over the end of it. <coughs> and I may have to put this back down. Rest of it out here. Wow, well, there it is, guys. That's a snap ring. If you don't take that out. Bust the house and trying to get this bearing out of here. Now, what I'm gonna do is turn it over and try to tap this bearing out. I mean, this shaft out. It's gonna tap this hammer right here. Working. Alright, guys, so here is the shaft. See, all right. Now there's another snap ring on, or some kind of ring on this shaft right here that holds this bearing on. So we need to clean it off. See if we can get this bearing off here. This bushing is very, very wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to punch this, punch this bushing out. A lot easier. I'm going to show you what this bush looks like. Somebody's got the goody out of this bush. It's full of damn grease. Uh, you can see this side bushing looks good. That side is bad. It wore all the way through it on that side. So definitely new new grass bushing. Now we'll clean this up and uh, see about getting that snap ring off here. Let's see if y'all can see <coughs> that split ring 
this is not a snap ring. It's just, it don't have the eyelets, but it is split. <coughs> Excuse me. Right here. That's got to come out. So, another, I wish they had the uh, eyes on, to tell you the truth, but sometimes they're. Hmm, a good way to stab myself. Sometimes they're easier to get a hold to than these tight here. But you never, you never get onto these bastards without poking yourself. Usually they ain't too bad to get out. This one will be a pain in the butt. There. Right, so that's what's holding this bearing on here. Now this bearing should just should just pop out. Y'all can still see. I got you. I got you zoomed out and it. Let's come up a little bit. I don't want to put a clamp on that if I'm happy. What I'll do is I'll clamp right here on this thing. Give it a little extra. And now I'll tap on this. Just kind of run out of room there. I just have to move it to the side a little bit. There you go. One bush bearing. One bearing. Now clean all this crap off of this. This will be ready to go back together. Bearing actually, it's got a little bit of play in it, but. It's actually not in terrible shape. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. So guys, that's how you get that uh, old gearbox part on these Max Ferks and Model 25 hay rates. And uh, when we get the parts back in, I'll uh, make another video putting it back together. We'll get the other hay rake up here and put it on, put it on it. 